This conclusion is ultimately the outcome of my personal experience on the days of my visit. So, overall the experience was very interesting. Um, what I found with almost every place was that, that the range of flavours were there to appeal to a range of ages and different, uh, different customers. And that each one of us in the tasting trio had different experiences of the same ice cream. I'm 45 and Jess and Chris are in the mid 20s. We did tend to have a different feedback on the same flavour, so that was really interesting. My tastes were dubbed old man flavours by Jess, as um, she preferred certain types of sweetness like honey or white chocolate. But I wanted something a bit more complex, something a bit different with less sweetness. This really got me thinking about the time and effort it takes into planning and organising a range to make it appeal to different markets and consumers. For example, I generally found the simple traditional flavours, um, plain vanilla, plain chocolate, plain strawberry, were much more sweeter compared to the chocolate plus flavours. For example, chocolate brownie, triple chocolate, devilish chocolate cake and stuff like that. And those would actually bring in more texture than just plain sweetness. My little boy loves the much sweeter profile and hates the bits. And so the thing he really likes is that sweetness, the sugarness, instead of those extra additional layers. So I can see that it's quite difficult to create a range that would accommodate everybody. Taking all this into account, along with costs, opening time, uh, ranges, size option, available activities there, but also my personal preference um, and for me as a biker, that are convenient places to visit. Final rankings from the flavours we tried and how I personally found each place. In number seven, um, it was Hall's Ice Cream in Matlock. I've added it in to let you compare other places to something that's a bit more commercial, more mass produced. In theory, it could be any generic ice cream place up and down the country, but Regular E10 isn't premium E5. I wouldn't put E10 in, in my bike unless I had no choice, and it's the same with my ice cream. To me, there was a significant difference to every other place in the list. It's several pegs below. Whilst the others were extremely close, um, to, with this place I found it was quite a big gap. But interestingly, it wasn't always reflected in the price. It seems people will charge what they can get away with, but you don't actually have to pay premium prices for premium ice cream. Number six, Dalton's Dairy in Ashbourne. This place has quite a wide range of ice creams. The location is very good, very close to Ashbourne. And I would say it's a mid-range sort of pricing. One of my bugbears with this place is that Whenever it's been raining, which is quite often, you have to walk through a muddy yard to get to the seating. Um, but there is a nice coffee shop next door to it. Um, well, my wife tells me as I don't drink coffee. And they do sell milk in the old glass pint bottles, which is really cool. It is an honesty shop, but it's not 24 hours, 7 days a week. They do sell many other things. Uh, the ice cream comes in larger tubs. Um, and, but also comes in my preference of uh, 500 mil tubs and smaller sensible people sized. The price is quite reasonable. I have been quite a few times as it's just down the road from me. It's actually my sister and my wife's uh, preferred place. Um, that's where they love to go. But I've always considered it a little sweet for my liking and with, but it does have a very good range but it's nothing too experimental or different. I was actually very pleased this time to see gingerbread when I visited. Um, I'd give that a plus plus. It was very, very nice. Jess did love the white chocolate and Chris thought that the chocolate and the chocolate orange mixed together would have actually been the best chocolate from the lot. Overall, I like the place. I find the overall range too creamy for me and too sweet. I've also found the flavours a little inconsistent. Some of the flavours have changed over time and once when we bought two tubs of the same flavour both tubs did taste different, but overall, lovely staff um, in the coffee shop next door, very helpful. It does have a very good range of other things in the shop, um, from the biscuits, the eggs, 
um, and so many other things so it is a good place to visit number five Matlock Meadows um, this place I would say has, does have a much smaller range um, it's only open on the weekends one of the things I thought were really cool were the Sundays on a special day I think that might be something a special treat for myself or somebody else yeah so like I said the peach melbourne is a plus plus for me um, that chocolate mint is very nice too um, but one of my highlights with this place putting the ice cream to a side is they've actually got a little toy digger so I like going on the little toy digger uh, to let play in the sand I know it's the, um, I was testing it for the kids but anyway they do have loads of little animals um, around so you can have a little um, pet of the goats and the other animals around too but overall the six flavours that I had were quite creamy and were quite sweet and I would say one of the bigger bugbears was that they melted very very quickly it did get very sticky very fast um, and at that point it was sickly one point I would like to note is that um, Matlock Meadows ha have really nice cones I don't know what it is but um, they're really crunchy tasty and it's one of the things um, that really stuck out for me I didn't really notice the cones from almost anywhere else is just a cone but I don't know what it was it was Matlock Meadows had very very tasty cones and um, that so if you're a cone person I'll probably say this is definitely one of the places that you want to go to number four Bluebell Dairy in Derby. I would say overall they've got a very good range, um, many things to choose from, medium priced. The devilishly chocolate um, was quite a favourite with this. Uh, Bluebell is a place I've been going for many years. It's a very big site with loads of parking, but they do got a, a bumpy farm track, so uh, fire blades beware. There is a children's play area for those young at heart and small in waist, which uh, <coughs> sadly excludes me. But uh, the shop itself is quite spacious, they've got loads of little things there and it also has teddies for those wanting one for their Deville. The ice cream range is quite good but generally aimed at kids. I do find their range to take on sweeter notes and easy flavours but it's nothing really out there or challenging. Everything there was a very safe bet with something everyone would like. But I do find um, some of the flavours were overly sweet and that's not again not my thing at all. Number three, Tag Lane Bakewell. I would say this place had the most luxurious and most rich flavours and was one of the more expensive places. Um, this is actually a difficult placement as Tag Lane is actually one of my regular haunts. Um, either on the way going up to the peaks or coming back, Tag Lane is perfectly situated to nip through on a quick break. Um, but it does have a small car park and we do regularly find that quite busy. They do have a small seating area outside and, this, and four tables I think it is inside. But the ice cream here um, is really good. It's very rich, it's very tasty. As a treat, this place is very, very good. Um, the flavours are quite intense without being overpowering. They're flavourful but yet quite engaging. I don't think I've actually ever been disappointed with anything that I've had here. And by now I'm sure I've been through the menu quite a few times. Overall, I would say that the basic flavours, again, here were a bit on the more sweeter side. Um, especially for the younger kids, and I always get nervous what they're going to do with the next sugar rush. I would say for myself, even in having a small tub with one or two scoops, that's about um, as much as I would have. I wouldn't probably go any more than that. Any more than that, you'd get quite sweet and sickly, but those two scoops are very, very nice. Um, Generally, I think they, have, they tend to have quite typical flavours with nothing too out there or nothing too different. It's a good range and everything done is done there quite well. Number two, the Hatch, Darley Abbey in Derby. The Hatch is set in the picturesque village of Darley Abbey. Um, and it's a lovely place to go to, um, but it is a little bit out the way. Um, but there is a nice car park and as the name suggests it's just basically a hatch in the wall so there aren't any tables there are not really not really anywhere to sit the difference here were the flavors were more, more daring the banoffee was genuinely incredible and after speaking with the staff they were they were quite experimental in their flavors tastes and textures this is actually my first trip here 
and I've wanted to come for quite a while but I've just never got around to it and that's think, something to note for its location but I have made a few trips back and this has confirmed my initial findings the, they do have a smaller range and they weren't as sugary as other places but it's just, just about sweet enough which I think I quite liked the hot cross bun was actually a real favourite of mine and it's similar to a flavour that's quite typical in South America, especially chilli. And it really took me back and it was a really nice moment for me. So I was a bit biased. It's actually one of my all time favourites. So yeah, it's a really nice place and I'll definitely be going back. Number one, Cold Eaton Dairy. Cold Eaton Dairy was ultimately my winner as it excelled on a number of fronts. Firstly, it's a 24 hours a day, seven days a week shop. In theory, if I wanted ice cream anytime, it's open. It's also one of the most economical places to buy ice cream in comparison with others on the list. I would say that it, the flavors are consistently good. I'd probably give a four out of five consistently. It's my local store, only a few minutes away. So it's, it's secluded without being too out of the way, which I really like. Um, it's genuinely a beautiful place with very nice scenery and it's got a really nice peaceful relaxing vibe in the past I've sat there for a good good hour just reading and it was almost like being a holiday it's a, it's a, had a very nice time the view I would say coming off the road is actually one of my favorites um, coming into the farm however parking is limited and in busy times you have to park in the field the part that really matters is the ice cream and I probably actually tried most their flavours by now and I've got to say um, I've never tried one that I thought was never for me the sweetness notes here are by far the lowest the cream really comes through and the flavours are quite easy they sell in an ideal for me half litre tubs and smaller normal sized people but they do sell other things here too cakes, cookies, milk and a lot more the fact that I can sit there for ages, have a large tub and not feel that I've eaten too much or too sweet and sickly, a place when also I don't feel I've been shortchanged and it's conveniently located on the exit to Ashbourne going into the peaks means for me it's a great stop when I'm, whether I'm going out or coming back or whether it's a meeting point. For me the location's excellent, it's ideal. Overall I'd say I'd put Dalton's, Matlock Meadows and Bluebell Dairy on about par on the third on joint third tag lane and the hatch on a joint second and cold eaten dairy by nose at first final thoughts the standard of ice cream in every place that makes their own ice cream was extremely high there are no bad places or bad ice cream every person who makes ice cream I think are true artists and it's their expression and I think that it's fascinating in itself. Overall, I was generally impressed with the passionate staff that they really do love their product and they were genuinely happy and eager to talk about ice cream. Derbyshire is amazing. I get to go to all these fantastic places on a regular basis, ride our amazing roads, pothole or not, and it's always a pleasure. This was a fantastic experience and it really helped me to understand and appreciate the different interpretations and imagining by many ice cream makers of what chocolate, vanilla or strawberry or whatever the flavour should be and how they express those tastes and preferences. There's no right or wrongs and many will agree and just as many will disagree with my rankings but that's okay. Um, our tasting trio is evidence of how our own personal tastes impact our preference. I prefer to taste the ingredients and see the flavours come through and almost every place the high sugar content at times was bordering okay to overpowering and sometimes even sickly. But most importantly ice cream should delight, excite and bring a smile and every place did that for me. I'd like you to do the same, to go out and explore the ranges of these fantastic ice cream makers that we have in Derbyshire. Please support local businesses and keep our farmers and small businesses going. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my experiences, a chance to ride a bike I love on the roads I love, eating obscene amounts of my favourite treat. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed watching it. 
as much as I enjoyed making the video. Um, I'd love to hear about your experiences and any of your recommendations. But take care, ride safe and stay curious. Thank you. Go on, Jess. <laughs> get get your corner in practicing. <laughs> <laughs> and this, the boys try to count. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's. <laughs> there you go. You found the replacement for you one, two, five. <laughs>